the book, but everyone's accomplishment. And also celebrate life and celebrate our dreams and celebrate our desires. So thank you all for coming. shame and guilt of my past. Um, wow, depression, um, low self-esteem, um, not very confident, you know, and trying to always be someone else that I, that, I, that I wasn't put here to be. So I had to release those chains. And writing the book, I tell you, it was so therapeutic for me because I'm so, I'm 38 now, and I'm so far from who I was, because what I do through the book is I take you from me as an eight-year-old girl all the way to today. And I'm so far from who I was in my young adult life. Um, don't regret anything, because it's made me who I am today. But we all have a story, right? We all have a story. So I wanted to share my story, because I knew that being transparent opens up the door for freedom for everyone else, right? Because we, are, we, we hide behind, right? These chains and they and they keep us they keep us tied up. Don't minimize the call in your life, because if God has called you to one person, eventually it might lead to thousands. Amen. Ari, God called you to one person, and now God has moved you to thousands. Yeah. Come on, tell. She wore a bomber jacket, had braids in her hair, and was holding a joint. The other two girls, dressed in baggy pants, were standing, thumbs hooked in their front pockets, and showcasing their gold nugget rings and gold door knocker earrings. My eyes were immediately drawn to the sad-faced girl standing on the right, who was wearing loose, low-hanging blue jeans, barely staying above her behind in a black leotard camisole. I felt for her at that moment. I saw something I never saw on her before, pain. So I prayed for her. 
The next day, I took the opening stage at my event. I didn't go into the host field of what the meaning of release the chains and what it meant to me as I had originally planned. After receiving the picture of my old friends, I was inspired to do something different. Instead, I wrote a poem to share with my audience as they looked on at that picture of a girl in all black who was obviously dying to release her chains, whatever they may have been, to set forth on her journey of being free. I called it, That Girl Has a Story. Wake up,